Hello, six creators, and happy Monday. I have two really important things to talk to you about today, so listen up so that you know everything that's going on. First of all, Tuesday and Wednesday of this week, you are gonna be taking your Ohio State ELA test. So the purpose or the goal, what we want from you is for you to do your best. We want you to try your best. We want you to take your time. We want you to show us everything that you've learned from kindergarten until now, how well you're doing in ELA. Um, but the thing I wanna make sure you're aware of is that when you are typing in any part of your ELA test, whether it be the notes part or whether it be the actual response part, there are two things that are happening. Number one, it is automatically saving everything you type. So even if you type something, um, especially in the notes and you delete it, it does not mean that it did not save it. Um, the second thing that's happening is it is running through a system, a computer system, and that system is, flat, is set to look for specific words and things and phrases. And if you type something in your notes, possibly that you wouldn't type in the thing, maybe you're exercising your brain and you're just typing um, a song lyric or something, and it is inappropriate, and it talks about shooting or something like that, it is going to flag in the Ohio Department of Education is going to send us an email and I am going to know immediately that you were typing something inappropriate. That also goes for your response. So it is imperative, it is important that you are doing your best work and that your best work is 100% appropriate, 100% um, helping you to get to a better result. So just wanted everyone to know that so that if you were to make not the right choice, you would understand why you would end up in my office um, after those results go through the computer system. Okay, second of all, this also kind of has to do with testing. We have a wonky testing schedule Tuesday and Wednesday, right? Kind of like we did for map testing. Classes are shortened, they're at different times. Lunch is shorter, lunch is at a different time. So we are not going to be able to do our staggered lunch times. So what is going to happen is the first lunch period is going to be 6B and 6A, just like it is right now, except for everyone's coming at the same time. What that means is several things. First of all, you still are required to enter the cafeteria the same way you do right now. You still are required to sit only on your side of the cafeteria in the seat that you have been sitting in this entire time since we changed. You are not allowed to cross the barrier, the line um, to the other side or to the other country as some people tease. And you still need to walk out and around to the bathroom or the lunch line or from the lunch line. So even though everyone is in there at the same time, Nothing is really changing in terms of where you're sitting, how you're entering, how you're exiting, how you're getting your lunch, that you're staying on your side of the cafeteria, that you're staying in your seats, all of those things. So I've had a lot of kids still asking if we're going back to the old lunches and I still don't know. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday are going to be a huge test to help me kind of determine if that's even a possibility. Um, so I would expect everyone to be showing me how they can control themselves at lunch and how they can do a nice job. Um, the other piece is that uh, you need to um, be following all the rules. You need to be listening for the directions. You need to be staying in your seats. That's the one thing we're still having a really big problem with is staying in our seats and sitting back down after we throw our trash out. So show me that you have mastered those things and I will give some thought to some other changes. Not saying they're gonna happen, but let's see what you've got. Show me what you're capable of and um, make me, convince me that there is a reason that I should even consider it, okay? All right, on that note, there will not be videos Tuesday and Wednesday because the schedule is so crazy. There really isn't enough time to show it. Um, oh, the other thing about lunch is that lunch is shorter. 
So it is in your best interest to get in there and sit down as quickly as possible so that we can start dismissing and everyone will have plenty of time to eat. You have actually been getting a little bit more time because um, you've been getting through the lunch line faster and all of that. So it's gonna feel really rushed Tuesday and Wednesday. So get there as quickly as possible. Um, again, no videos Tuesday or Wednesday because of testing. Thursday, we're gonna do a special edition of Funny Cut Friday since I missed a few Fridays. And what better way to start spring break than with Funny Pet Friday. I will see you on Thursday. Have a wonderful day. Titans Pledge. As a Titan, I am respectful, responsible, and safe. I pledge to pursue excellence, live with integrity, and act with purpose.